uh, good evening pallavi uh, thank you so much for agreeing to do this uh, conversation with me on women in architecture uh, it is really uh, a blessing as well as i'm grateful that you have managed to find out time at such a short notice to have this conversation with me uh, this work is basically uh, to get uh, a better understanding of women in the profession of the built environment especially uh, the womanhood part of it you know what it is to be women in the profession of architecture and a light fields whether it is engineering or urban design planning landscape and so on and so forth um it's a research uh, a long term research i will say and the method is called auto ethnography where the focus is on your life being a woman in the profession and it's like your biography and my pen you know so uh, we wish to write uh, a manuscript which is a coffee table book where we ha we have a target of 100 women and we have crossed uh, one fourth so we are really hopeful and motivated and uh, at the same time uh, build this youtube series so there are two aspects where your information will be uh, recorded in the text format uh, and in the video format so i need your permission for that and with this i thank you once again to join there are very simple uh, questions for you about your life so uh, welcome once again thank you so much pallavi thank you manchi thank you somya uh, okay so maybe let me start with the questions very simple question we start uh, with and i take you back to many years ago uh, when uh, you had actually decided or uh, you uh, got into architecture what what is like in your house what hmm. brought you to the architecture uh, education high school actually, uh, graduation hmm. what 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 uh, actually i grew up in kenya hmm. that is east africa and when we came to pune that was my parents hometown my uh, interest was always in medicine i loved biodiversity and i really wanted to be a doctor and i loved zoology botany were my favorite subjects in school also my journals used to be the best and i was very sure that i'm going to be doing architect but i say hua ki jab 12th ki sari grades ye wo jo i just missed by marginal and my sister was doing architecture at that time and i was i had a good hand so you know us time 1988 ke time ya 1980 ke time kaise tha ki if you have a good hand chalo architect badhiya ban sakte ho so architecture join kar liya so it was just like a journey which i by default chali gayi wahan pe architecture mein aur wo karte karte wahan landscape mein bada ruchi hone laga mujhe third year fourth year i started learning the subject of landscape which allowed me to look at the environment the way i had wanted to as a child that was the best part about architectural education and um, phir as you know you i got married and i came to mumbai i was working with my husband as an architect kar rahe the chote chote landscape projects bangla karo terrace karo aise chote landscape projects kar rahi thi and i also was teaching at an institute in mumbai so while i was teaching in that institute i got an exposure to all these subjects of water waste water building services town me pani kahan se aata hai kaise jata hai building me fire fighting yani kya hai सो so, वो सारी सब्जेक्ट्स में मैं बहुत रुचि लेती थी और पढ़ाने के लिए मैं रात रात बैठ के लेक्चर्स लेने की कोशिश करती थी और तब मैं कुछ जानती नहीं थी मैं तो खाली यू नो आई जस्ट न्यू दैट ओके टुमारो मॉर्निंग आई हैव टू गो एंड प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस फोर्टी ऑर्ड बैच टू दिस बैच हु डजेंट लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड वाटर वेस्ट वाटर दे वॉन्ट टू ओनली डू डिजाइन ऐसे होता था तो वो एक मुश्किल थी उस वक्त की टू ग्रैप देअर अटेंशन फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट्स तो मैं बहुत सारी नई नई चीजें उस वक्त इन टू थाउजेंड आई वॉज ट्राइंग विद दैन रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग का कॉन्सेप्ट में लेके आई उनके साथ फिर मैं पोल्यूशन एंड द कॉजेज ऑफ पोल्यूशन इन वेल्स एंड डग वेल्स एंड लेक्स ये सब्जेक्ट्स में उनके साथ लेने चली और फॉर्चुनेटली द कॉलेज वॉज अलाउविंग मी टू टू टेक माई सब्जेक्ट द वे आई वॉन्टेड वाटर सप्लाई और ड्रेनेज का एंड लैंडस्केप प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो सो पवाई लेक पे लेके जाओ बच्चों को उस तरीके से एनवायरमेंटल इशूज में एक्सपोजर was what i was trying for the students or while i was teaching i did my masters in town planning town planning mein karte karte maine that was another milestone was i took a topic of impact of development on the environment 
So impact of development on the environment was such a new subject altogether. And I took the Mumbai Lake region, Pura Pawai Lake, jo IIT ke pas mein hai, Hiramandani ke pas jo Pawai Lake hai, uske upar teen lakes hai dusre. Yes. So wo sara uh, padne ki ruchi thi, and I took that as my topic for research. Or wo wala mera jo thesis tha, research thesis, I won the SIDA scholarship, Swedish International Scholarship yes. for Sustainable Development. Wo scholarship was another milestone and a turning point in my life. कि वहां पर क्या हुआ मैंने देखा कि इकोलॉजिकल इनपुट्स ऑफ टाउन वर इंटीग्रेटेड इन टाउन प्लान कि जैसे नदी है नदी के कहां से कैचमेंट किस तरीके का है पेड़ पौधे कौन से है उनकी लैंग्वेज क्या है पेड़ पौधों की सो दे वर ऑल दीस न्यू टर्मिनोलॉजीज दैट आई वाज एक्सपोज टू आई वाज कंप्लीटली बैफल्ड व्हेन आई वेंट ओवर देयर एंड आई सॉ द वे द टाउन प्लानर्स एंड द आर्किटेक्ट्स वर वर्किंग ऑन जस्ट द वाटर फ्रंट ऑफ गोथेनबर्ग इन स्वीडन गोथेनबर्ग एक टाउन है वहां पर उनका डिजाइन जो होता है वो सारे रेसिडेंट्स के साथ डिस्कस करते हैं सो दे पुट इट फोर्थ इन फ्रंट ऑफ द रेसिडेंट्स एंड दे डिस्कस दे तो उसमें वाटर कैचमेंट सारी बातें थी कि जो मैंने अपने यहाँ देखा नहीं था कि ऐसे कोई गवर्नमेंट प्रोजेक्ट है और उसको इतना डिस्कस कर रहे हैं रेसिडेंट्स एसोसिएशन के साथ तो एक अलग सा मुझे एक्सपोजर मिल गया था देन इट वॉज मैन आई केम बैक फ्रॉम दे टू थाउजेंड फाइव में इट वॉज जस्ट क्या कहते हैं Starting with the letter go, you know, उसके बाद दिन पीछे देखना ही नहीं था वन म्यूनसिपल कॉपोरेशन टू अनादर म्यूनसिपल कॉपोरेशन बुलाने लगे कहने लगे हमारे वाटर बॉडीज जो है शहर में उसका क्या हम कर सकते हैं वैसे मुंबई सिटी थाने सिटी नागपुर सिटी और रत्नागिरी बेल्ट में सारे जो चार पांच सिटीज है लोनावला खंडाला ऐसे इट वॉज जस्ट लाइक आई सेड नो लुकिंग बैक यू नो और आर्किटेक्ट्स की टीम जमा होती गई और हमारी जो टीम बनने लगी फिर मल्टी बनने लगी क्योंकि मैंने गौथनबर्ग में देखा था कि टीम में एक जियोलॉजिस्ट भी था एक वॉटनिस्ट था फिर वहाँ का वाटर हाइड्रोजियोलॉजिस्ट था सो ऐसे मैंने कहा आईआईटी आईआईटी में गई आईआईटी में जो मेरे रेफरेंस थे प्रोफेसर के पास गए और मैंने उनको कहा कि सर ये सिटी का हम लोग कर रहे हैं सो आई वॉन्ट योर हेल्प सो वो एक तो एज अ लेडी who who had uh, this exposure in Gothenburg with a scholarship jo itna sincerely isne itna map kiya hai somewhere i feel as a woman i got that uh, um, opportunity of uh, they believed in me aise tha that was the added advantage that i got so iit ke professors ke sath hum log hydro jo jo water resource department hai iit mein geology ka department hai तो उनके साथ ये काम करते करते ये मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी स्टडी है बिकॉज वाटर इट सेल्फ इज एन इकोलॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट तो इसलिए हमें निश्चित की जरूरत पड़ती है हमें सागरी का दामले की जरूरत पड़ती है सो वी नीड सीमा फ्रॉम भूज यूनिवर्सिटी सो वी नीड ऑल दीज जियोलॉजिस्ट वाइल्ड लाइफ एक्सपर्ट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द लेक रीजन टू अंडरस्टैंड की वहां पे कौन से एनिमल्स की हैबिटेट है वो हैबिटेट कैसे कंजर्व करनी है सो इट्स इट्स नॉट जस्ट कंजर्विंग दैट वाटर बॉडी सो इट ऑल स्टार्टेड getting into how one conserves the whole catchment within that catchment what is happening within the catchment agar building or architecture uh, built form hai agar to built form hai to how are those buildings disposing the waste water yes where is the waste water from those buildings going and is it touching the lake agar if it is coming to the lake then it has to be purified and then be brought because lakes they need water That तो we need, you know, that lake को तो आजू बाजू के कैचमेंट से पानी आएगा वो तो हम डाइवर्ट नहीं कर सकते तो ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम समाउंसिपल कॉपोरेशन वो सिंपली डाइवर्टिंग द वॉटर गोइंग टू दिल्ली उन्हें ये लगता था कि चलो डाइवर्ट कर दो फिर पानी अपने आप में रह जाएगा बट दैट इज नॉट द राइट यू हैव टू अलाउ द वॉटर टू रीच द लेक अलाउ इट टू फ्लश यू नो जो ऊपर नीचे होना चाहिए पूरा पानी एंड देन इट शुड बी फ्लश आउट सो इनलेट कहाँ से आउटलेट कहाँ से तो पहले जाते थे हम लेक पे तो पहले बोलते थे इनलेट आउटलेट कहाँ है हमें दिखा किसी भी जंगल में जाओ कहाँ पर भी ढूंढ निकालो उसके इनलेट आउटलेट तो दे वुड बी अमेज एट माई टीम जो हमारे आर्किटेक्ट जो ज्वाइन हुए थे हमारी टीम में जो जुआलॉजिस्ट ज्वाइन हुए थे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस के आई के बच्चे थे सो बच्चे भी नहीं थे वो ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट्स हुआ इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस काइंड ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्ट and they would walk into that wetland or fearlessly we would walk you know saap wap kuch nahi darte the chalo jana hai jana hai aur chal ke dekhte the untouched abhi tak to hum sare 
we, we started understanding the water body at the back of your hand. You know, pata hona chahi kya chahi water body hai, to uska catchment kaise? You have to start feeling it. You have to understand the story that the water body is telling you. So, us tarikhe se you just plunge into the finer intrinsic aspects which are interconnected of that water body. So there is the bird life which is interconnected with the trees. The trees are interconnected with the soil. The soil is because of the geological condition and the water is because of the hydrogeological condition. So these are the tears that we have to understand, understand, understand. We have to brainstorming sessions. And we were able to solve questions. So believe me, Mansi, what happened? These are, you know, that water bodies are with the collectors. Meaning it is public land. Yes. Uh, it is not private land. So you can imagine how difficult it is to take an appointment with the commissioner. Unko batao ya aise hai. But wahan pe group which is led by a lady, hame bada reception achha milta tha. And they would listen to what we were telling them. But wahan jate samay hame malum tha ki we have to validate whatever we are saying. We can't just say ki nahi hame ye pasan nahi hai, isliye hame idar paude laga hai. Absolutely. We had to really say ki no, this is the habitat of the bulbul bird. And because the bulbul bird ke nest hume waha dikhe hai, isli aap aapka paathwe yaha se mood lena. Us tarikhe ki chhoti chhoti aspects hum lake mein add karte thai ki which they were also connecting to those. Yellow oriole kahi kahi hai. To yellow oriole ki bhi specific trees hoote hai. So woh trees hai. To woh unko hum dikhate thai ki dekhu yeh iska habitat hai. To is tarikhe se woh lake ko conserve kare. At the same time, the dip point ya to kaun uska mein kahoongi ki yeh Mumbai shahar hai. Thane, Nagpur, these are all the cities in the cities. You know? Absolutely, land. Land. Real estate is big. So, that's why in that case, Mumbai city, there are 85-86 lakes. Little, little, little. Not as big as Pawai Lake. We are not able to do anything for them. Our entire projects are in the other cities. In the other places. So, that's how the story just went on and on and on. Then, we have a bridge to Kunske. प्रोजेक्ट करे वर्ल्ड बैंक फंडेड था वो तो ब्रज में ऐसे 11 कुंड है तो वो कुंड कैसे रिवाइव करने हैं तो वी फॉलोड द सेम मेथोडोलॉजी जो हमने खोजी थी जो हमने बड़ा रिसर्च कर करके क्योंकि दिस इज द वे वन नीड्स टू लुक एट वॉटर बॉडीज करके हमने वो करा था वहां पर भी यूपी में भी हमारी टीम को बड़ा अच्छा दे हैड अ लॉट ऑफ फेथ इन अस दैट आई मस्ट से एंड आई शुड गिव ऑल द क्रेडिट टू माय टीम फॉर इट कि जो कुछ भी काम करते थे जो भी मैप्स रेडी करते थे वो बड़ी दिलचस्प दे वर टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन डूइंग द वर्क सो जब भी हमारा प्रेजेंटेशन होता था तो ऑलवेज वीव सीन इन द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑल द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर्स यूज टू बी जस्ट लिसनिंग टू वॉट यू से बिकॉज वो ट्रू स्टोरीज थे Very good. Very interesting. I will bring you back to your school, uh, college time where you were in architecture school and I was really flowing with you the way you were passionately talking about because there are not many uh, women in the country uh, uh, where they have taken architecture as their education and they have, uh, you know, gone further and redefined architecture yes. into urban lakes, into lakes, and then further to the uh, the life of the lakes, you know, to talk uh -huh. about animals and all. We have a lot of common points to discuss. We have a lot of common points, so, uh, so um, uh, many things to discuss. And I almost feel that am I talking on my series on women for water or am I talking on women in architecture? You know, that's, that's the best part for, of this conversation until now. Um, because the conversation is focused on being women in the sector, I, I wish to bring you back to your school um, education days and your undergraduate, postgraduate days when uh, uh, you were studying and try to understand, did you ever realize that be, uh, you were a girl or a woman and that is going to make a difference in the way you pursue your career? What, what was it in your college days? Uh, college may yes 45 students may we were just 13 girls in my class okay only 13 girls or hamesha uh, 13 13 14 girls ikatte rehte the or uh, but pune is a city which did not have so much of a problem when it came to gender bias okay college uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> college may actually uh, submissions or ye wo sare ikatta hi hote the उसमें कुछ ऐसे मैंने देखा नहीं कि गर्ल्स को अलग ट्रीट कर रहे हैं बॉयज को बॉयज ही इनफैक्ट हालांकि कहते थे कि देखो गर्ल हो इसलिए तुम्हारा सबमिशन पास हो गया देखो मेरा सबमिशन नहीं पास हो रहा है तो जब गर्ल हो तो इसलिए सबमिशन 
assignments the girls always performed well but the boys you used it ha ha bas sir ke samne khali aise aise kar liya tumhara submission ho gaya aise boys that will be to in today's language it will be called sexist remark by the way yeah magar us waqt to chalta tha it was 30 years ago ha that's exactly 30 years ago ट्रिप्स भी बहुत हुआ करती थी वी यूज टू गो टू आगरा फतेहपुर सिकरी फिर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर आर्किटेक्ट्स हमारा एक नासा हुआ करता था तो वहां पर भी वी सॉ लॉर्ड ऑफ गर्ल्स सो आई बिलीव दैट इन द एटीज गर्ल्स के लिए हमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं हुई थी ट्रैवलिंग आल्सो द बॉयज वी टेक केयर ऑफ आवर सेंट ट्रैवल वी वर एट द सिमिलर टाइम बाय द वे आई जॉइंड आर्किटेक्चर इन 90 एंड आई थिंक यू आर जॉइंड एट द वेरी सिमिलर टाइम एंड आई आई कैन रिलेट विद इट व्हेन यू सेड दैट यू वर गुड इन ड्राइंग्स एंड दैट्स व्हाई यू फेल्ट लाइक अ नेचुरल ट्रांजिशन टू आर्किटेक्चर बिकॉज़ इन दिस स्टडी इट इज आल्सो फॉर मी टू रिफ्लेक्ट अपॉन एंड सी व्हाट आर द कॉमनलिटीज व्हेन व्हिच अ वुमन रियली फेस थ्रू सो व्हेन यू वर ग्रेजुएटिंग and um, we all uh, aspire to do something uh, did you uh, ever feel that uh, being a woman uh, there will be a different uh, path for me or there will be diff- you know more hardship w- was this a uh, feeling sometime in your head or did you really face it or what was it when you were graduating and how did you decide what to do next mentors did Actually, you really have uh... any things like this I say uh, because it was Pune city, which was uh, there have been lots of ladies who've been revolutionary, yes. who've done revolutionary work, and Pune me there have been so many uh, cases of instances of families who have allowed their ladies to go ahead and take charge. So, शायद उस वजह से ये metropolitan city जो थी Pune में हमें उस तरीके की difference नहीं नहीं महसूस की हुई थी. the only thing i remember that i would say because you are asking me was site work mein site work mein hame bahut dikkat hoti thi ki site mein jao to wahan construction pe engineers hote the site engineers hote the wo hamara manna itna seriously lete nahi they would always need a male member to tell them what to do hamara design immediately nahi lete the meaning that's the difference that i see then and now अभी लड़की हो या कुछ भी हो दे आर लिस्टिंग बट ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम आई नो दैट वी डेंट हैव वॉशरूम्स ऑन साइट में तो बहुत बड़ी दिक्कत होती थी कि इतना दूर आप बस लेके जाओ उधर बस लेके जाओ और वहाँ आउटडोर लिटरली इन दैट एटी एट नाइन्टी फाइव के जो टाइम पीरियड था ना पब्लिक टॉयलेट्स फॉर वीमेन थे ही नहीं और साइट पे भी वो था नहीं सो वी यूज टू फेस दैट एज अ प्रॉब्लम टू बी एबल टू टेल द कॉन्ट्रेक्टर कि हमें जाना है वो दिक्कत होती थी अदरवाइज uh, हमारी बात मानने के लिए हमें कहना पड़ता था क्लाइंट को डायरेक्टली कि देखो आपने आपके इंजीनियर्स को ये समझाना है साइट इंजीनियर्स को वो ठीक काम नहीं कर रहे हैं सो दे वॉज दिस बिकॉज साइट इंजीनियर्स थे वो सारे साइट पे काम कर रहे थे फॉर देम टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रिस्पेक्ट अंग देम टू डू दिस उनको लगता था नहीं हम कह रहे तो ही वो ही है ये साइज लकड़ी का इतना क्यों लिया है ये साइज लकड़ी का डोर फ्रेम का कम करो सो देर वॉज अ लिटल hesitation in accepting what we would tell them i understand ah uh, yeah ha huh. sorry sorry go ahead i understand so, you that actually that started with teaching doing your own little practice uh um, and the somewhere mm-hmm. uh, somewhere you also then st- uh, started establishing your own uh, grassroots research and uh, you know consultancy yeah. so just trying to understand uh do you really uh, see uh, whether it makes a difference having a, a spouse or a, a you know a partner in the same profession or did you really find it a, a easy transition to become a full time uh, practitioner i know you are also very good teacher so i'm just trying to understand how do how do you really see yourself uh, in the practice teaching as well as family to run jaise मैंने जैसे कहा कि ये 2005 में जो स्कॉलरशिप के बाद मैं इंडिया में आई तब ग्रासरूट्स कर लिया था 2005 में दैट टाइम माय हस्बैंड यूज्ड टू बी देयर इन हेल्पिंग मी इन गोइंग टू दीज डिफरेंट प्लेसेस क्योंकि कहीं मालेगांव में जाना पड़ता था ना आपको चले जाओ या कहीं लेट नाइट होने वाला है तो ही वुड कम एंड पिक मी सो वो सपोर्ट था और जरूरी था क्योंकि उस टाइम इतनी सेफ्टी नहीं थी कि कैसे भी कहीं पे भी जाओ और Uh, and I was dealing with government projects, like I told you. 
सो गवर्नमेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स में ऐसे डर सा लगता था कि पता नहीं वो ऑफिसर्स हमारी बात को पॉजिटिवली लेने वाले हैं नहीं लेने वाले हैं कौन आए हैं ये लोग तो माई हजबेंड डिड अकम्पनी मी इनिशियली एक दो साल फिर बाद में देर वॉज नथिंग लुकिंग बैक क्योंकि वन प्रोजेक्ट सक्सेसफुल प्रोजेक्ट टू अनादर सक्सेसफुल प्रोजेक्ट दैट सक्सेस इट सेल्फ स्टिक्स यूर है ऐसे हुआ बट ये साइमा स्टेडी में थी इनिशियली मुझे सपोर्ट जरूर था और मेरा जो ऑफिस एस्टेब्लिश करा वो भी माई हजबेंड एनकरेज मी टू हैव अ सेपरेट ऑफिस ही सेड नहीं एक ऑफिस स्पेस चाहिए यू कैन जस्ट ऑपरेट फ्रॉम होम और एज अ प्रोफेसर योर साइड बाई साइड करो हो एनी बडी हु वॉन्ट्स टू लुक एट यू सीरियसली एज एन आर्किटेक्ट एनवायरमेंटल आर्किटेक्ट यू मस्ट हैव योर ऑफिस स्पेस कॉल दैन टू योर ऑफिस डिस्कस द प्रोजेक्ट्स इन एन ऑफिस स्पेस सो तब हमने इन्वेस्ट करा था ऑफिस स्पेस में सो ये सी एंड माई फैमिली दे सपोर्टेड अस फॉर दिस तो वो सपोर्ट के बिना नहीं होता था ऐसे मुझे लगता है और उतना हमेशा फ्लाइट तो हम लेते नहीं थे आज कल उसको तो चलो यहाँ वहाँ पर फ्लाइट से चले जाते हैं बट दैट टाइम इट वॉज ट्रेन जर्नी बस जर्नी द बस वु ड्रॉप यू एट एनी ऑल जंक्शन सो माई हजबेंड वुड कम एंड पिक मी अप एट दैट जंक्शन ही वुज टू टेक केयर ऑफ माई टू डॉक्टर्स सो वो सपोर्ट सिस्टम तो थी घर पे इसीलिए बहुत बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट था वो सपोर्ट मुझे इनिशियली एंड हैड आई बीन अ सिंगल वुमेन एट दैट टाइम मुझे नहीं लगता है कि मुझे इतना सपोर्ट मिलता था अवार्ड फंक्शन और ये वो मैं अपने दोनों डॉटर्स के साथ जाती थी तो एक आई नो वो एक अलग माहौल बन जाता है वेन यू आर फैमिली एट दैट टाइम अभी सीन बहुत चेंज हो गया है बट इन 2005 इट वाज इम्पोर्टेंट कि मुझे ऐसे लगता है थोड़ा सा कि दे वुड लुक एट अमेन एज अ कम्प्लीट वुमेन इफ शी हैज अजबेंड एंड इफ शी हैज किड्स वो एक मुझे रिस्पेक्ट का लेवल बड़ा चेंज हो जाएगा हम्म कि अच्छा इनकी फैमिली भी है अच्छा इनकी दो दो डॉक्टर्स है इतना करती है वो मुझे मैं जानती हूँ वो सपोर्ट या दैट वुड आल्सो ऐड टू दैट क्योंकि आसान नहीं है गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर्स की मीटिंग्स लेना उनके साथ मीटिंग करना लेट लेट तक होना उनको भी पता होना चाहिए कि हाँ देर आर पीपल एंड देर फैमिली वेटिंग फॉर योर एट होम ऐसे generally we we see that actually um, uh, men have an edge on this in terms of practice where women uh, oh, have yeah. to be very oh, very disciplined mm-hmm. in terms of uh, uh, you know taking uh, commitments taking appointments and you know taking projects to uh, to even uh, oh, that yeah. extent uh, uh, do you think that uh, that really in, uh, makes a difference is because we have more men in the practice uh, oh yeah uh, so i have lost or we have many as a practice we've lost a lot of projects because we were not able to network the way these guys can network and that appreciation so is not there still, in the society you know that uh, women are doing practice as well as they are taking care of the mm-hmm, family mm-hmm, uh, if they uh, generally yeah. we, it is seen that the successful woman has to act like a man you know they are, he uh, she yeah. has to be available all the time the way men all are all the time yeah uh-huh. uh, which is a bit of unfair i feel and uh, from my studies i realize that it it is one of the reasons why many women uh, are really in that uh, uh, state of compromise between the family and the practice and oh, yeah. they take a middle path mm-hmm. they take a middle path because wo zarur ho gaya because having I children mean, is that, a 24/7 yes. uh, children so, itself yeah. is a project you know though we uh, though my family supported me by having a full time uh, house help we had a full time house help so that was lot of my uh, responsibilities were taken care by her do management karni padti thi khali because my projects were the like, environmental projects at aapko kahi bhi jana padega na na chale jao wale gaon jao ya north india jao to uski wajah se wo ghar mein tha but like i told you networking karne mein hum log kam padte the जो गाइस है तो वो ना अपने फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स कर लेते हैं किसी कॉन्ट्रैक्टर के साथ जुड़ जाते हैं किसी बड़ी फॉर्म के साथ जुड़ जाते हैं कोलैबोरेशन बनाते हैं तो वो मैं कोलैबोरेशन नहीं कर पाई माई फॉर्म इज स्टिल प्रोपराइटरी फॉर्म विच आई वुड रियली वॉन्टेड दिस फॉर्म टू बिकम अ प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी विद सेवरल डायरेक्टर्स ऑन बोर्ड मगर शायद नो बड़ी वॉन्ट्स टू एसोसिएट और 
मेरे साथ कोई डायरेक्ट नहीं बनेगा उनको लगेगा उनकी फैमिली को शायद लगेगा कि अरे लेडी के साथ ये क्यों जुड़ रहा है वेर एज इफ देर आर टू मैन दे इजिली फॉर्म कोलेबोरेशन तो वो मैंने बहुत देखा और दैट हैज बीन अ सेटबैक फॉर माई कंपनी I think that is faced by many of us uh, in the career uh, uh, to practice because uh, the collaboration and networking requires lot of additional work and yes. beyond the office hours. That is ah, exactly. वो वो मैं कर नहीं पाई. वो बहुत लोग हम लोग नहीं कर पाते हैं and that mm-hmm. that affects of the way we practice because and even today it is affecting. Huh? Even it is today, affecting. I'm not even able to. Yeah, that scene about networking twenty years back or today is the same. You just cannot stay up late night and chalo kisi ko card do or kuhu ki chalo no. let's collaborate. No, घर में आते ही तो घर, घर में आते ही घर. That is uh, there. So um, my next question is towards some life changing moment, uh, or decisions you took in uh, uh, which really changed the way you work today and practice today, and uh, where you are today. Mm. Changing decisions. Jaise meaning how are you looking at that? Or some ideal in the way, ah, uh, the way you practice today, whatever you do, are you influenced by something, or did something happen, or how did ah, uh, you know, you chart your now very focused path? Now, ah, एक तो ये है कि मैंने decide कर लिया कि मुझे builders के साथ काम नहीं करना है. I can तो... relate with it very much. तो वो एनवायरमेंटल एस्पेक्ट सारा खो जाता है एंड देन वी वर नॉट एबल टू बी एज पैशनेट एज आई सॉ मेरे ऑफिस में जो हमने एक दो बिल्डर्स के साथ प्रोजेक्ट्स करे सो टीम वाज नॉट सो हैप्पी इन वर्किंग ऑन दैट एक पेड़ काटो तो पांच पेड़ लगाओ और पांच पेड़ एक बड़ा सा बैनियन कटरी काटो और फिर सुपारी के पेड़ लगा दो बीटल पाम्स सो वो सारी चीजें हमें नहीं पसंद थी तो हमने एक डिसीजन ले लिया कि नहीं चले चाहे जो छोटी हो जाए अपनी प्रैक्टिस पर हमें बिल्डर्स के साथ नहीं जुड़ना है वो एक डिसीजन था कि फिर दूसरा एक डिसीजन था कि रिजॉर्ट्स वगैरह बहुत बनते हैं प्राइवेट प्रोजेक्ट्स मगर सम हाउ बीइंग दिस लेडी नॉट बीन एबल टू नेटवर्क सो मच मुझे वो रिजॉर्ट्स वगैरह के प्रोजेक्ट्स नहीं मिले इट इज आई नो दैट दैट हैज बीन द ड्रॉबैक बिकॉज ऑफ मी बींग अ लेडी फिर भी मैंने एक चार साल पहले मैंने एक ज्वाइन बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज बिजनेस हाउ टू टेक योर बिजनेस अहेड तो उसमें भी ऐसे थर्टी लोग थे उसमें खाली तीन लड़कियां थी हम यू सी वी आर सीइंग द सेम प्रॉब्लम इन वाटर आई विल इनवाइट यू टू द वाटर सेक्टर आल्सो हां बस वी आर सीइंग द सेम कंपोजिशन अ वेरी वेरी मीगर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ वुमेन मुझे ऐसा लगा अरे ये तो अभी शुरुआत कर रहे हैं अभी इनको ये सारे टिप्स मिल रहे हैं तो वैसे अगर मुझे उस टाइम किसी ने गाइड किया होता कि ज्वाइन अ बिजनेस ट्रेनर एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज इट बिकॉज एज एन आर्किटेक्ट यू नेवर स्पोकन टू बाय बिजनेस की जैसे देखना अपनी प्रोफेशन को हमें सिखाया ही नहीं इवन हमको टीचिंग भी नहीं सिखाया हम फिर भी टीचिंग करते रहते हैं वे करते रहते हैं बिकॉज बीइंग आर्किटेक्ट इज नॉट इक्वल टू बीइंग अ बीइंग अ गुड आर्किटेक्ट डज नॉट मेक यू अ गुड टीचर नॉट मेक यू अ गुड टीचर करेक्ट यस हमें तो बीएड वगैरह सिखाते ही नहीं है और ऊपर से ये हमने देखा कि अरे बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट क्या करना होता है हाउ टू अपॉइंट पीपल हाउ टू नॉट टेक पीपल कैसे टीम्स बनानी है हाउ टू डेलीगेट टास्क ये सारा उस बिजनेस क्लास में मैंने अभी अभी सीखा मीनिंग अबाउट फाइव सिक्स इयर्स बैक और मेरे साथ मैंने जैसे कहा दीज व दीज बॉयज वो देर थर्टी फोर्टीज में क्योंकि उनके पापा बिजनेस में थे आर्किटेक्ट्स भी थे और इंजीनियर्स भी थे तो उनको वो बैकिंग था और वो मुझे दैट टाइम महसूस हुआ कि एज अ लेडी I've not been able to do that. 
एंड माई हसबेंड भी वेन ही वॉज इन टू अनादर प्रोफेशन तो ऐसे ही मिला नहीं मुझे वो दैट काइंड ऑफ सपोर्ट वेर एज आई एम सींग दैट द गर्ल्स हु आर वर्किंग विद हजबेंड पैरली parallelly by doing well because the husband does all the networking or projects lana leads lana whereas i am not able to be in the same profession leads. husband being in the My same husband profession. is a filmmaker yeah. he is a filmmaker yes so i am saying do uh, you see the difference that if when a spouse is in the same profession it makes a huge yes, same, same same architecture oh yeah 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 many all tarah ke hai very good i will discuss with you at length later because i have that kind of combination and it's uh-huh. you know it's by individuals it is by relationship and i i have started questioning whether it is right to have a, a same a profession spouse uh-huh. or not so oh. you know it always uh-huh. looks grass is greener on the other side um, good afternoon vandana it's uh, really nice to have you here to discuss women in built environment and thank you so much for giving me time at such a short notice and i'm really grateful for this Uh, yeah. just to give you a brief um, idea about it the research is on uh, the life of women in the built environment and not really uh, the built environment per se because the idea is to celebrate the presence of women and their contribution in the field because uh, it's not much done it's almost still a uh, patriarchal kind of a profession so that's the whole idea of it so i will go through some simple uh, questions with you to understand who you are how you uh, uh do things and who you are today uh, and why you are today like this you know just to get an idea of your life journey so i hope it is okay uh, with you to get it recorded and also you are live so nice yeah, yeah. consent yeah thank you so much yeah so um, i'm going to take you some years back in your life uh, and as you were discussing um i would like to know what brought you to the field of architecture i know you grew up in chandigarh so that becomes a natural uh, inclination but still it would be nice to know from high school how you how did you land up in architecture so i think um, when i was growing up uh, there were only primarily three professions you know engineer doctors or you would become an is officer and um, uh, so Uh, yeah, uh similarly i was also you know tuned like that and uh, and especially you know if you are topping you know so people say ki bhai engineering mein jana hai and all that <laughs> yes you know, so computer engineer banna hai and so all that was in my mind but um, uh there was a lot of uh, like my father was transferred so there was a little i think uh, disturbance at that time at that very juncture very little disturbance but so i somehow um uh, uh couldn't uh, qualify the iit so that was my ultimate aim at that moment huh? and thank god for that huh? but uh, <laughs> but uh, you know so that, uh, yes <laughs> yes <laughs> so my nana was an architect he retired as senior architect okay. in haryana and uh, so i used to see him work Uh, all the time and he had worked with kabuzier you know so he while making of chandigarh so uh, the way he used to draft the way he used to you know like i was really fascinated by that and so uh, and i was good in art i was really good in art and um, uh, so it just like it was instinctive that i you know uh, uh, it, you know kind of thought of architecture and i got admission there and you know so it's it was like i think just destined to be <laughs> i say i think you know so you you so landed up in chandigarh for your uh, chandigarh architecture? college of architecture okay. yes yeah another yes. A nice place to be actually yeah, yeah beautiful beautiful place <laughs> yeah i mean so, to study and uh, where the studio is you know you know the section is drawn by kabuzier himself you know so it it kind of gives you a kick and it was a beautiful space and in chandigarh i think uh, you take lot of spaces for granted and i think they are embedded in your mind uh, while growing and i think that's a great plus plus point you know so you don't yeah. think of space as a square uh, uh, or a cubicle box or a uh, you know cuboid box you know you think of space much beyond it if you have you know grown in chandigarh gone to the secretariat gone to the high court gone to the you know uh, sector 17 plazas you know so you see space uh, really designed by a human being in a very very amazing way so i think that was the plus point i had yeah, yeah. 
So because we're discussing uh, uh, more as uh, you being a woman in the field, I, I would just like to understand how was it in your college time when you were studying? I mean, I know that to, today we don't make much distinction as, you know, being a girl child in this class or boy child. And I also recall from my time that they, as teachers, there was not much distinction. And even until final year, uh, we uh, in our head, we were really not having this mindset that, oh, I am a girl and what will I do in this profession and all and what next um, and so on and so forth. How was it going on with you being a girl in the profession, you know? I mean, in the, in the college time, in your bachelor's and master's time. Did, so, you, did it hit you? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, you know, that's I the don't... problem. We never realized it when studying, yes. you know. <laughs> so, so I think um, uh, while it has also got a lot to do with the, how you are brought up, you know. Yes, so absolutely. we are three sisters. We are three sisters and my mm. father has brought us up like, you know, uh, it's like there's no option, you know. You have to make a career for yourself, you know. And as in his thing, ki bhai, shadi to sab ki ho jati hai. what are you doing with your life? You know, that's more uh -huh. important, you know. So we were brought up with that attitude and we not even for once did we, you know, think that we will be not pursuing this profession ever, which we are into. Uh, so that was not a question ever, ever, ever in our mind, you know. So and especially in my mind, it I mean, uh, it didn't even occur to me that I would not uh, work, you know. I would yeah, not carry how was, forward. How was the institutional environment pertaining to uh, being a woman or girl for in that time? Uh, I mean, did you really realize that being a girl will be uh, kind of a different uh, trajectory of life in the profession? As you rightly mentioned, family grooming makes a huge difference. But institutional environment also influences the way we look at life and profession, you know. So, you know, when I was growing up, I, you know, when you are in fourth year, you go for practical training and all that. Yes. So I remember in Chandigarh, Namita Satnam, uh, there was a, wow. there was a uh, practice. I think she's still practicing. And um, uh, so that was, they had got the Naval, they'd won the Naval Academy and they were looking for interns. Of course, I, I interned in Delhi. Many of my batchmates uh, interned with her. So we used to see women practicing uh, maybe it's it was naivety or whatever you know but it was kind of it at yeah, that moment I don't think I thought it would be different at all not at that moment not while okay, I was studying great, not great. while I was interning I don't think it mattered at all to me that uh, you know oh what will I do nothing like that I was like as excited about the profession as as my uh, you know, batchmate would be, you know. So, in fact, in my class, the first uh, 10 positions were held by girls, you know. So, Same uh, in my class. <laughs> in <Bhopal. yeah. laughs> so, so, you know, I don't think either of us thought that we would, you know, not practice at all, you know. So, it's, um, maybe it's, uh, it was a later thing that, and, you know, I think, um, uh, yeah, maybe the trajectory which I took was a little different. So, even today, I thought, I think I've done very well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, we have to be proud of what we are doing. Yeah, Definitely, yeah. Uh, undoubtedly. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, as you rightly mentioned that it never occurred in, uh, in our minds, probably because of the upbringing and also because of the institutional environment and also uh, uh, being an individual uh, a, a, a per se. However, uh, when we look at the data of uh, women in architecture or uh, if I expand it to built environment for that matter, the data tells that uh, even if there are same number of uh, boys and girls enrolled for the education, uh, uh, when we really start counting how many people are eventually practicing and then going up in the ladder, how many uh, women eventually become successful or noticeable, or uh, you may say that uh, they, they have really contributed heavily, which I, I already contest that they, everyone is contributing in some way or the other. But uh, looking at the way mainstream goes, that successful architect or so on yeah. and so forth. Uh, the, the number shows that more than half of the uh, women uh, eventually um, uh, leave architecture for that matter, even practice. 
another thing which is also uh, i contest that architecture is not should not be limited to seen as practice and this is where i started doing my research when i said that if architecture um, uh, discipline as an academy uh, is having more women teachers which also uh, should be considered that these are women architects but you know when i started doing this research some years ago i used to go and ask everywhere where i was invited as guest um, speaker a uh, name five women architects of the country and students used to struggle they didn't even had the humility to even name their teachers as architects and this is where it really hit me hard True. that who do we define architects as you know so if we if we define architects as practicing architects then the number is bleak in terms yeah, of women in the practice but uh, let's say if we uh, we take this question into two parts so uh, uh, if we if people like us were so clear and so strong headed to make our profession why the number really does not show like that because uh, architecture's uh, profession has been so far quite you know from upper middle and elite uh, group of people joining the uh, profession mm -hmm. or uh, what is your take on this why why are where are the women basically in short so i feel there are two parts to it yes. one part is um, that you know it is expected uh, of a woman to make uh, 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 make and nurture the family okay huh. so her prime time prime age prime uh, time where she can really concentrate when the man is concentrating on his uh, career profession and making it a big uh, deal a uh, woman is busy uh, nurturing her family nurturing uh, at least not giving priority to her uh, prime profession you know and uh, she is obviously more uh, entangled with the nitty gritties of uh, making that family survive you know so uh, so i feel that is one step back you know so immediately that those 10 years are lost uh, and obviously then after 10 years the inertia sets in and you feel um, many women feel that it's too late to get out now and uh, and you know it's a vicious circle i've seen with women who have left their profession that they they'll say okay i'll leave it for one year and then you know it gets to two and because it suits everybody that she stays at home and works it out it suits yes, her also yes, at the end yes. of the day you know and uh, because the odds are so much when she goes yes. out the odds are they are almost like a pile you know so instead of doing very few women get on top of that pile and mind you those women also have support support in terms of emotion in terms of uh, material in terms of uh, facilities they have support then only they can make it you know otherwise uh, most women obviously they are they are super i, they, I think they are super human beings super but human. sometimes sometimes uh, most of the times it's difficult to make juggle everything together and still be on the top you know so that is where i think that is the major i mean biological kelo societal kelo jevi kelo you know it is a norm that woman has to step back and say okay i will nurture this and maybe god made her like that that also so it is kind of it results in this okay and that is one part major part i think is that and second is also that as society as you said it's really male dominated and especially architecture and especially the sites uh, where we work and the uh, and the clients or maybe in the government where you present your projects they will not uh, take you seriously so many of my friends who are practicing or many of my colleagues who are practicing many of my juniors who are practicing they tell me ma'am i was presenting this and i said ki aap ye ye mere hisab se hai drawing bani hai aap kyun nahi aap isko bana rahe ho and that engineer looked at her ki who are you you know so yeah. it it is you know just because i am a woman he can say all that she says if my husband had gone there he wouldn't have the temerity to say that to him you know so it is also in the society that they don't take a woman seriously in this profession because it is again i will say 
it is also dominated by engineer we have let the engineers dominate the architecture profession so their yeah. sensibility maybe an architect will not do that but in the engineering uh, section it's worse it's worse i think uh, women architects uh, women women engineers is very difficult to survive for them you know because of the ultimate bias against you know the women engineers but women architects still you know at least in the fraternity i feel they uh, respect a uh, women sensibility yes. they you know uh, there is in my college for example i don't think there is a uh, aspect about women or men or you know uh, yeah. and i see that in architecture profession per se you know yes, i feel absolutely. there is more kind of uh, uh, more kind of you know empathy or more you know, it, it, it's like uh, we still have a equality in terms of uh, you know uh, Uh, ex- respecting each other you know uh, yeah. i feel there is more than other professions like and i see engineering very closely quite a lot yeah. so i don't think their sensibility is so much but but still to explain your project to any person you know any client for a woman is more difficult uh, and most of the time they don't take them seriously that is what i have heard because it doesn't happen with me maybe because i am at that position and when i present in the government they listen to me you know because i i am the principal so maybe they listen to me you know i i've been i'm senior now maybe they listen to me you know so it's like uh, different for me i feel but uh, uh, most women find it little difficult to make to show that yes they can do a work equally well yeah that's very well put i i i bring back a little component from your first part of this uh, conversation um, uh, section where you were talking with there where women have to really nurture the family and give up and many a times we have seen <laughs> especially when we look at the data again that uh, this nurturing also involves nurturing office and a husband who is of the same profession you know so yep. uh, uh, many many uh, male architects who are doing very well if you get into deeper into their profession you find out that their better half is actually a woman who is taking care of she may not be the face of it but yeah, uh, it's yeah. apart from mm-hmm. nurturing the family it is uh, many a times it is nurturing the profession itself the office office also yeah, yeah. At the office the you back, know and then the uh, back, people don't the, know i know many many well known <laughs> architects uh, the backstage is handled by their better halves or now uh, many uh, a few of them i know who have their daughters also now taking care you know but uh, just to come back to your life uh, uh, as we were discussing now how how did your family life and professional life get into when you uh, left your school college and you started your profession and uh, you started your family and how how is it how did you juggle with all this as you discussed about <laughs> others you would like to so, know about uh, i i am fortunate that uh, uh, i had lot of support in terms of manpower and all that so but apart from that i think uh, uh, you have to work little extra that is there you know yes. and that, that extra is the home which, profession <laughs> yeah self. so but i don't mind that you know because yes, i feel uh, and i am uh, you know in fact i love doing you know what i do and uh, it's like a uh, so i did my masters after getting married you know uh, my husband was posted in dehradun and i got posted in uh, i i got admission in rudki through the gate scholarship got a, got the gate scholarship for masters and uh, i used to travel every day by local bus to the rudki and then back in the night you know and i remember conductors Uh, they could make out that uh, you know i am the sdm's wife you know so because the gypsy would come and leave me there and the ardali would be there so they would tell me that uh, uh, why so one guy one driver i was sitting next to the driver and he says why why do you go to rudki i said i study there i'm doing masters so he is telling me why do you why are you doing masters huh? <laughs> so i said because maybe i want to be a you know more accomplished architect and so he says you mean you will work huh? so i said yeah me yeah yes i want to work huh? and he says what has uh, god has given you so much why do you want to work you know so uh, uh, so you know this is also a perception in the society that um, uh, it is nothing about you it is about the need so people work need of the family women, so you have everything 
yeah have women, everything taken care <laughs> yeah so women would want to work because they need uh, uh, to be financial uh, the their finances the are family needed for needs the house. support ha huh. 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 when so that is taken care you don't need, you to, need work. to work you know <laughs> so he couldn't get my you know address <laughs> but this woman is mad she comes at 6 o'clock in the morning goes at 8 o'clock in the night you know what is her problem she should just enjoy herself you know so but yeah it was uh, two uh, two years i did up and down when my husband was posted in dehradun and then rudki and uh, then no then haridwar and but i finished my masters by then and uh, then we were posted in kanpur where both my children were born and uh, that time i think i was just taking little small odd projects from family friends and you know i was just doing that and uh, painting a lot and so i just to mostly you know uh, work from home only you know yes. and uh, yeah those three years and uh, then i this thing this opening came in my college for a lecturer and um, in the public service commission so i went and appeared in that and um, got through and uh, uh, it was uh, and you know i think uh, the uh, professor thapar was the founder of one of the founders of this college he was interviewing me there he was a uh, he was a, a technical uh, expert there and the one question in the last he asked me was would you join you know uh-huh. and, uh, because your house he was he wanted to children. be sure you know he wanted to be sure that this woman is just come for time pass or what you know <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't want that to go miss you know that he he just asked me will you join as a so why would i come otherwise you know he said okay fine so now he meets me and he says i think i did a good thing <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i think um, uh, so it was at that time my college timing was amazing it was like from 8 to 2:30 so my by the time i came back my kids would be back from school and so it was manageable i sustained the campus so for me i think it played out pretty well you know of course there is this extra thing which you do but you know i one should take it i don't like to you know say that i did something extra i did i don't want to say that uh, it 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 was i think uh, you do it for yourself more than anybody else you know so absolutely. it's yeah absolutely interesting because mm-hmm. you did mention in the early career there uh, your spouse had a transferable work and then yes. you found a stable uh, location to be housed and then yes. uh, you yes. were able to so i stayed here i stayed back here till now we are staying in the college campus you know even though <laughs> one could uh, oh, sorry uh, i yeah. can we stop for a moment i'll just get a yes. chart you yes, so we were uh, like you know discussing uh, uh you settling at one place and then you had this uh, schedule which was working very well with you so i would just like to know uh, uh from there uh, how did you really uh, uh, take it up as a career you know i mean what kinds of work you were doing apart from uh, teaching as your main profession you know yeah so teaching uh, was primary and um, till the kids were small teaching and my pa- i paint a lot so painting big uh-huh. was my uh, one of my major things to do and uh, read a lot i think i am into so research was a very important part of my yes. life so uh, but uh, off and on i would take up little you know uh, assignments from somebody and you know do a small project for them and something like that that would be at the background but very little it was not a primary thing at all and sometimes yeah. i would get paid paid for it and sometimes not also <laughs> yeah. but it was it was just to keep myself little alive and all yes. that i used to do that very often and uh, but that was the only thing but later on i think uh, after my phd you know because um, i went to delhi um to do my phd and shifted bag and baggage with my kids there and uh, but luckily or luckily my my uh, husband was posted there that's why i took that th- uh, thing in spa delhi that okay i can be there for 5 years but uh, he got uh, posted back to lucknow and we, we were there alone <laughs> for 7 years i stayed there because by the time i finished my phd then 2 years my kids were in 10th and 12th so i had to stay there that two years again 
I took a deputation there in uh, one of the uh, one of the universities as uh, and set up an architecture department there. Then came back after the, my kids were gone to their college and all that. Then I came back to Lucknow, and since then I have been uh, doing. Uh, obviously, after PhD, you get lots more into research yes. and yes. establishing yes. masters, uh, ex- establishing the masters program, establishing the PhD program. So all that you know uh, took their uh, uh, turns and. Uh, uh, then I also got my, so I got really interested in um, uh, painting professionally, you know, uh, uh, was that uh, I think my mother died uh, suddenly, she was diagnosed with cancer and she within three months she was gone. So I think just to uh, get over her, I started painting a lot, lot more. And then I thought of putting up an exhibition after that. And so then I took up uh, professional, uh, uh, you know, uh, wow. paint, as as a artist, I became a you know professional person, and I am really happy for that because I think uh, you know teachers or academicians who cannot uh, practice into that level, you know, so um, somehow that that expression, you know, uh, can be you know. Uh, then that creativity, you know, comes out beautifully in this kind of a, uh, I mean, this, uh, so I really, now I curate a lot of shows also. So that is also part mm. of my, uh, you know, uh, uh, so it, uh, every, I meet so many beautiful artists. Well, uh, uh, we do an exhibition every one and a half months or one month. And uh, wow. uh, so it's like a, you meet national level artists and uh, young artists and you know so it's that is one of my um, passions I would say you know and uh, but you know at a college level now we have started consultancy for the past uh, 10 years and uh, we've been doing some beautiful projects for the government and uh, so that keeps you alive and now we've got a lot of research projects also coming up you know and uh, so all this kind of um, made the institute grow and made me grow you know and uh, so so you're right you know I think as a woman you want to explore uh, you there is no uh, barrier in your mind to explore new uh, areas where uh, uh, your creativity gets uh, a kind of a platform you know so I think uh, so that that I think is niche to women you know, uh, yes. they kind of, uh, uh, although I see few men also do it, but not not in that way that they make it into an alternate kind of a uh, uh, pr- passion co- slash profession, you know. Yes. Uh, so uh, so that is, might, they might do it as a hobby once in a while, but it doesn't take it kind of a, uh, not center stage, but at least side center stage, you know, at least. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in in but, a woman, it's very natural. Like I, yes. I see a lot of architects yesterday, only there was a beautiful function in Lucknow where this girl, she's a very good practicing architect and she uh, collected these singers, you know, who, who had some level wow. of, uh, and this they had a music fest, you know. So, you know, so it's like... Uh, it's about exploring yourself and I think women have this uh, ability to explore at various levels I mean I, I think yes. even in cooking for example you know yeah versatility so you, and risk taking yes yes so you would want to like I, I have one of my junior colleagues she's she started a small like uh, uh, venture you know where she uh, designs or, or what she calls it curates or uh, maybe uh, gives the ideas about how should your event what should your event idea be you know so she doesn't do event management huh? but she gives them the basic idea that what should be the theme of your event and how should you go about it and what how should you? so i mean and she's really good at it and people are really talking to her about it you no 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 so and she's is exploring that idea very seriously besides her architecture. It's not that she doesn't teach well, she's into teaching, research, everything, but she also wants to do this, you know. Uh, uh, So I think that is what I mean by when women are generally very, very open about it. 
Yeah, I think that also comes out very clear when we when we actually uh, started having this conversation uh, before uh, this uh, recording that uh, women have explored many many fields. Yes. It may be naturally uh, because of many reasons, or it may be because women have been risk takers and more versatile and more, and more aspirational to do this 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 and not you know not really uh, limit themselves to what has been taught particularly in architecture where for most of the five years and two years if the master's is in the same field uh, it's more about building building you know yes, it's more yes. about design design but for, like, for example i'm exploring more into how water and people work and blah 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 and like as you mentioned from art, architect to artist i see you now mm -hmm. in that uh, you know in that uh, bandwidth for that matter and you are also mentioning about your colleagues and all so uh, somewhere uh, this has been uh, in a way strength, but another part of it is that many of the women have managed to do this, uh, in the, particularly in academics. Do you think there is a particular reason why women feel naturally, uh, you know, comfortable in academics or why do they slip into academic zone? Because uh, when we look into most of the architecture schools, actually now women are more dominating in terms of numbers. Mm, yeah, I agree. Because I think it has a time bound, uh, uh, time bound thing. There are no uh, firefighting uh, to that level. I mean, uh, your client yeah. is on your head that uh, chhat nahi dali, ye nahi hua, you know, um, uh, painter bhag gaya, you know, firefighting all that academics may be hai, but, but is, not, not to control. that level. Ki koi aapko, you, it's more uh, disciplined. Disciplined. Uh. It's more disciplined. It is, uh, it can be controlled, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. So with all the, as, as I said, with all the rest of the things going in her life, she wants at least, uh, she can follow her profession, but with little bit of more control, you know, I feel that yeah. is why women and, uh, yeah, it's also about I think um, uh, sometimes I feel they're more uh, they can apply themselves more into uh, maybe reading or something like that they're more uh, still in mind you know I, I realize that they've got some kind of because to read and to research you need that stillness in the mind yes. you know uh, yes. which is very, and very also important. also this nurturing habit, you know, you have this bunch yes, of students. Yes, your students and, and uh, students. <laughs> it's like an extension they, they, of the family. Kids true, and true. And that, <laughs> that might be there. That might be yeah. there, yes. Well, that it is an interesting uh, thing to see that uh, 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 slipping into academics is kind of, it's almost like a natural for many, many aspirational women true. in the profession, you know. Yes, and, yes. And you name it because of the timing, you name it off, office setup and, you know, all those kind of things. And this is more disciplined and all. Uh, yeah, for example, for me, you know, for example, for me, I kind of slipped in it so naturally because A, the opportunity came, B, uh, uh, with these two children, I never thought, I didn't, I think it was very difficult for me to find work and then go to the site and, you know, so Run it was office. very balking. Huh? That moment was very balking that, oh my God, how will I, uh, you know, uh, get into the profession with all this paraphernalia happening all around, you know. So I think that is, so it is a kind of a, that is why maybe uh, 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 exceptional uh, uh, women are also going in. Now I see a lot of women who are uh, yes. a, a really good in their work they also prefer academics you know uh, yeah, it, i think it's the institutional environment which is which becomes conducive safe. for uh, yeah. for women to do many kinds of things many as you rightly things. mentioned apart yeah. from architecture they can venture into other aspects and then also have a disciplined life because at the end of the day evening yes. the women have to go home and take care of the family true yeah. true true uh, and on time it cannot be 10 p.m it cannot be yes. 9 p.m it has to i think that on is time the, coming huh? back to the home and <laughs> that uh, definitely academics has always allowed uh, us to do uh, <clears throat> But uh, just to understand from uh, um, your uh, perspective, uh, I mean, because you have now this bandwidth from architecture to uh, art history, and you, uh, you have come across these different kind of uh, professionals, you know, how, how do you see uh, the profession, our profession really fares in terms of uh, expressing the design approach and then overlaying it with the business approach, you know? I mean, a woman could have been, professionally so-called practicing women uh, if we can make a distinction between academics and practice 
is it something which is a business approach which is keeping us away or or how do you think we fare in there or if you may take your example itself you did mention that to juggle with all these things you know how to open office and then run the office and all but then uh, do you think it get, gets into the back of the mind oh i could not practice or i should have practiced after some time did it really hit you ever yeah to say it didn't ever hit me is would be untrue uh, because i think when you do architecture you ultimately think that your building would stand up and you would go by it and say oh, wow i made it you know it's the ultimate stamp of uh, you know uh, getting as as a author would say getting published or getting you know uh-huh. uh, so getting built you know is as you, it's the ever going debate about and Mm. i agree to some extent building is what you know actually uh, uh, completes the you know it completes the uh, the creative field that you have stepped into and you want to be associated by something that you've created uh, uh, and it kind of is a culmination of what you have learned what you have imbibed what you stand for you know somehow in um, so i always feel that uh, even as an academician you know um, uh, it uh, if you uh, if your student knows that you have done these two buildings already you know they respect you in another way you know yes and and if you have um, just uh, academic knowledge of it you know it's a different thing you know uh, you might put in your best you might be the best teacher but in a profession like ours it matters if you have built you know so it it uh, uh, gave us gave me at least a lot of strength when we started consultancy and um, kind of we had a lot of projects and the students know about it and so it they start seeing you at least in little better light you know uh and uh, visa we uh, practicing architect so that's why we always say that when a practicing architect comes to the studio the energy is different because the students respond to him very differently yes so as a, as an academician i always feel that we should definitely do something at least you know to give ourselves the confidence and give the students that confidence so um, uh, so th- that's why i really really feel that you know um Uh, even as a woman you know you should try and do at least one or two projects you know not if you're in academics not because not because of uh, anything else but it gives you that confidence and gives the students more perception towards you little changes a little absorption becomes better that is my take on it you know like i think in yeah, the larger so larger frame of mind yeah, yeah. interesting that uh, we have a diverging viewpoint on this because i i i have been to, uh, really concerned about how to delimit architecture you know and that architecture is not about building building and especially uh, when i'm talking more about de development nowadays uh, a lot no because, so so uh, come, but come i come to what your point yeah yes especially so and this school. is from a teacher's perspective it yes, doesn't absolutely. make you less of an architect i'm not saying absolutely. that you are less of an architect yes. because i am of the i am that kind of theoretician who believes that even drawing is architecture you know Absolutely. if you are even if you are a career of a so person I, is also doing my yeah. my thesis was on uh, hidak you know who who may who just drew architecture and hardly yes. made he hardly made one or two buildings you know so it's and i think i respect him as an architect like immensely immensely you know yes. so it's i so it's about uh, architecture is in my mind it's much larger and Absolutely. it's it, it's it's in everyday life because you know architecture uh, is one profession or one pedagogy which teaches you uh, not about one, one way to build only it teaches you it teaches you how to uh, how to live life how to uh, how to manage how to solve a problem how to get out of a mess how to uh, you know get get uh, uh, be, uh, you know through the constraints you know so it teaches you a attitude you know so i think uh, so 
in my mind that is very very clear so i just told you about one aspect of yes absolutely uh, teaching, as a profession teaching, as a profession but as a, as a, as an architect uh, um, you know what can en- en- encompasses architecture that is i think it's much beyond much more. Uh-huh. much more and today we are coming back to it you know i think yes. with this nep coming and with this ai coming with this uh, new age uh, uh, computation coming we are coming back to it that a mathematician <laughs> is an architect you yeah, know yes, so it's like uh, so, I mean, so in fact even if we look at your life i mean you have even transcended to artist to to work yeah. and within the network and profession you know Yes, yes, and artists tell me. Other artists tell me that my work is more special, you know. So it's not that I've not got anything from architecture to the yes, art. Yes, absolutely. You, know? you are bringing uh, it there. We always get uh-huh. because it's uh-huh. so. It is that layer. It is that layer which forms as a profession. But uh, architecture is much, much more. It's it's absolutely. like uh, uh-huh. I think it's really beyond 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 even the even saying that art and architecture, even saying that. Uh, theory and architecture even saying drawing and architecture it's much more beyond it because you every Absolutely. day i think the way an architect deals with life is much more different than anybody else you or oh, i i have no doubts on that to be honest but uh, just to understand because the way you mentioned the way architects deal with life i would like to get back to uh, vandana uh, as an individual and understand uh, two tricky scenarios you know um uh being woman has been an opportunity in the profession at some time here yeah, you know uh, just some example or uh, there were moments in life when you realize that oh being woman in this kind of situation or in the profession at particular situation was really uh, a kind of a challenge would you like to share any such situations with us so i think um, as a woman uh, um what you get to the table is there is lots more compassion there is uh, so that is how you approach life you know it is uh, what kind of a boss you would be what kind of a teacher you would yeah. be what kind of a so i feel that it has a different angle you know it it really has a different angle which is biological you know which is yes. totally biological and uh, poor men can't do anything about it but it's uh, uh, it's basically that uh, you should be able to uh... sorry sorry no i'm hearing you yeah 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 so uh, it's basically that uh, No, I'm not hearing you now. Yeah. So, uh, can you hear yes. me now? Now. So I'm it's uh-huh. so so. I think uh, uh, a tricky situation. I don't think there would be a tricky per se, but I feel as a woman, not not as a not as an architect, but as a as a woman. You know, sometimes yes. you come across men who who just like. Uh, Uh, they mean you in a very subtle way sometimes in a uh, in a very quiet way you know and you know it's what is being done uh, but uh, you know you can and sometimes i you know it is so surprising that you think that uh, they are doing it deliberately but they are not doing it deliberately yes. you know they are doing it with Uh, natural they are, <laughs> and they are natural at it <laughs> so uh, so it's like you know it's uh, uh, amazing huh? and i am amazed that uh, uh, they deal with uh, women in their lives very differently than their colleagues you know or their junior yeah, colleagues absolutely oh, that, uh, that is huh? Huh? so it is uh, and it's so natural i sometimes wonder that how can they be so blind you know but it is a fact you know and over the years i just brush it brush it aside and move ahead because <laughs> uh, because you know uh, one cannot teach everything to everybody you know Absolutely. and uh, ha, so it it is a psyche which is 
which is आई थिंक इट इज डीपली एच यू नो एंड वो बोलते हैं ना जो दे आर दीज डीप लाइन्स इन योर माइंड यू नो विच डोंट दे आर एच परमानेंटली एंड आई समटाइम्स डाउट वी कैन चेंज इट बट वी कैन चेंज आर सेल्व एंड वी कैन बिकॉज वी हैव टू मूव अ हेड इट शुड ट्रबल अस यू नो आई रियली फील अनलेस इट गोज बी ऑन समथिंग बट जनरली इट शुड नॉट ट्रबल अस की ओके इट्स द वे दे डील विद Uh, the, you know women in profession so that's their problem not ours you know that yeah. should be our attitude otherwise i think um, uh, being a woman is of course lot of time i really wish that uh, men could experience at least 1% of what we do that's all sometimes <laughs> i really pity I, them i have no doubt about it yes <laughs> it's, it's i think it's a privilege to be uh, of this gender i always feel that true, um, true. but um I, i i don't have this question but because of the points which you raised that uh, it's in good to change ourselves and learn from what's going on and so on and so forth there is a question which i was in uh, you know um uh, i was faced recently in the nobel teachers uh, nobel prize teacher summit where we were talking should teachers be activist you know so if if people like us who are into the profession and who know that there is a societal challenge of being women in the profession do we think we should do something more uh, than uh, or in subtle ways do we are doing but then uh, make a noise about it or really make an attempt to change the scenario but i think we make this discussion some other time because i want to celebrate your profession and you more than having this debate on it probably sometime we have this debate at the school <laughs> but uh, no my, so personally uh, personally i feel that uh, um, because i am that kind of a person you know i don't like to yes. have a one to one uh, kind of a conversation Conference. or yes. have a confrontation you know so yes. i am that kind so i respect women who raise their voices i really respect it and i need the, i think because of them there is at least some kind of you know uh, at least That's a trade somewhere which is there ha huh? but i am uh, maybe uh, i am not like that and i yes. like to ignore it and move ahead because then yeah. it clutters my mind too much you Absolutely. know if i take on some confrontation Policy, so yeah ha so There's it is complex personal. life <laughs> yeah so it is more personal for my peace of mind <laughs> that and, and i don't think it's the right path also sometimes you know i feel that one should not take it lying down but then i feel that going into it is another big uh, you know loop yeah uh, it's so a profession by I itself by the way it. huh? <laughs> <laughs> i try and avoid it but i admire women who take their uh, t- take it forward and say ki, okay like buddy this is Let not happening let me tell you those who are taking head on uh, they disadvantage a lot in the society both yes. by by the men and by the women uh, true, for true. whom they are fighting true uh, true true but uh, it's like an alternate profession which many women have taken up in their lives yes. as well but yes, let me yes. come back to um, an interesting question which is now on um, architecture and built environment and uh, i want you to imagine a situation uh, uh, the way it is now today in the country that there are more male architects who are designing buildings designing cities and all uh, at least by numbers we see that uh i would like you to imagine a situation where uh, there are more women in the city or in the country who are designing buildings and cities and all what do you think would have been uh, different in the way architecture in cities uh, would have been if there were more women led or women dominated profession <laughs> we will not have it but there is no i know very difficult it. to imagine that scenario <laughs> very very difficult but uh... Uh, why think, not uh, when you dream you have it and you be achieve it yeah, i think it's a, uh, uh, i think it would be uh, cities would be less harsher you know i think it would uh, oh, yes i think that's coming uh, out would, very common now uh, amongst all uh, uh, yeah and uh, uh, i think uh, uh, women are more uh, whatever people might say they have a very clear head you know when it comes to what they want you know uh, and that's why i think they get into this thing all the time that no this is right and this is wrong you know because they they feel very strongly with this they think with their heart also you know so i think that 
would reflect in a city you know they would be more uh, pers- more uh, the, the cities would be more personal they would be more uh, uh buildings would be more uh, personal definitely you know because nowadays with this you know uh, we see this uh, uh, but i feel a lot of uh, again you know i being a liberal you know i feel a lot of men also do very sensitive work sometimes absolutely, you know absolutely undoubtedly <laughs> so uh, and i'm a real admirer of many of their works which works with this softness of material materialities there and it is not just like glass and you know uh, the the glitzy the kind of have a, have, a, have a itch towards uh, all the glass buildings we somehow don't appreciate full glass yeah and i think we are more earthy we are more earthy and uh, <laughs> we like to you know experience uh, i for once you know i don't like century air conditioned places you know i yeah. like to have air i like to you know um uh, but most men as i don't like most men like white light i like the softer light you know and uh, so uh, there is lot of in, pers- in in basic perception i think it's a very different yeah. uh, little different you know the way women think about spaces they are uh, more uh, warm you know the spaces are wo- more warm and um, uh, it's difficult to put it in words though Uh, because at a city level i'm unable to think but at a at a at a building level i i can make yes. uh, i can it's imagine it that how it would be <laughs> <laughs> because uh, cities are i think in india hardly planned <laughs> so they are all a mess <laughs> you are living in a i mean you grew up in a planned city though um <laughs> yeah how kabuz if kabuzier was a woman i think <laughs> 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 that will be a discussion by itself we must have that discussion yes. if <laughs> sometimes how chandigarh would have been or how no, gandhi nagar would have gandhi been. nagar would have been i just got a uh, paper published on gandhi nagar day before so, okay uh, uh, how uh, what we copied from chandigarh and what we lost from chandigarh in copying in gandhi nagar oh please so, send me a link because this podcast will share you the are, link yeah. we are doing it's a, this it's uh, an article so i okay, can share lovely. that link huh? lovely lovely so that brings me to the last question uh, for today which is a very general question for the youth because we we see these numbers which are very striking and concerning that if there are say nowadays if there are same number of girls child and uh, boy ch- children um, are getting into the school uh, what can we do uh, from our end and what should be the message for the youth to make future pro- uh, uh, of the profession more gender friendly or gender inclusive or more women friendly to be very precise because gender gets blurred again w- what should be so, uh, our approach and uh, how should we really train our younger generation all all kinds of genders for that matter to be more inclusive uh, to all genders not not only limited to women for that matter can so we see my, half men and half women in the country in 20 years from now who are practicing architects and well known than, i think uh, so today. i think so i am very hopeful uh, not because uh, i'm saying it for the heck of it but i have been teaching for 27 years now and uh, i see a perceptible change in the way boys and girls uh, 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 cons- uh, uh, kind of take cognizance of each other you know yes. like for example when i was growing up when i was young and so it was like you know oh he's a boy oh he's like there was this lot of conditioning in our mind about the sex you know yes. and which i am happy to say that it's not there now <laughs> no. you know mostly i mean i am saying about not only about delhi but even in my college they are on back slapping terms i mean i am telling you they don't see each other as boy and girl they see each other as uh, just two two human beings you know dealing much mostly better. mostly mostly you know they are ready to uh, bring to notice uh, or enact on a stage uh issues which are mostly thought of you know as taboo to talk even talk about for example marital rape for example you know uh, use of sanitary napkins i mean boys and girls together would present this on the stage you know so these kind of you know gender uh, defining issues you know 
are equal for both you know and Absolutely. they do. so i feel that's the first step you know where they are not seeing that girl as girl they are seeing her yeah. as a another uh, architect who's or a student who's with them you know so i feel it has come from them we have done nothing you know yeah. it is this generation which is i hope which this signifies this equality even in their later lives you know Absolutely. which i will, which i think it will play out like that because yeah. i see my children how they look at Uh, the opposite sex and how uh, my students look at each other so i find that that is the first step where this will go from the mind the moment it goes from the mind then yes. you will take a, each other as a equal partner you know uh, so that might be the first step towards ki okay fine you know and i see lot of even in like uh, maybe a generation before my students i see now uh, there are lot of boys who will say look i am staying back at home i am working whatever convenient at home i am looking after the children uh, and you take go ahead and you do your job you know i know lot of uh, people like that also now you know so i have which are not so much in number but yeah there are there you know yeah. but now i am hoping that this current uh, children who are studying have a new kind of uh, way they look at Uh, uh you know how to contribute to a family you know because it has to come from both it cannot come from yes. uh, us doing everything it has to be the, uh, the the men to think that okay we are part of it also now you know so it has to come from both sides and this kind of a complex or complex kelo yeah whatever this kind of dutiful attitude that we have that okay only i have to step back there is an option for another person also to step back so i think it is coming and i am hopeful that this will play out now i see lot of these girls young if i don't know whether you have a survey for the younger children but it is getting better you know absolutely uh, it's getting better but and, and these little things are out the change ha huh? because uh, i feel that our generation has also done a lot because change does not happen overnight obviously you know? so, oh yeah i totally i totally agree we yeah. were a little better than b- before and uh, the, the next and generation so was a little yeah. better yes. yeah and so so i but in 27 years i'm telling you from the day f- the one i joined and now i see this this <laughs> very uh, quiet change Striking. that has happened you know mm. and i that day i had tears in my eyes when i saw this play enacted and i said no there is hope for this generation and for, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that you know no absolutely so, i i recall when you said that uh, that this was played on the stage because i was uh, conducting a debate on should uh, um, one one should, uh, should one ma- be married to get, give a child birth and the debate where uh, i mean almost all of them wanted to be on one side where they were saying that no marriage is not yes. a yes. certificate required for a so child so this is birth. another thing so this yes. is another thing which is happening that the concept mm-hmm. of um, how the society should uh, should uh, enact you know this uh, whole uh, uh, system uh, of uh, uh family and all that this concept is also getting um, yes. modified you know so, yes absolutely yeah. so yeah so it's like so a lot of things help. are happening together yeah that will also help bring a change and i think technology is also playing its bit uh, to bring a change in the way yes. we look at life yes. we look at gender yes. and other things and all and uh, that brings me uh, to the end of this conversation and i hope you enjoyed the conversation and i really uh, look forward to having more of these conversations for with you thank you so much vandana and if you have any questions for me you may ask me now <laughs> <laughs> no i'm good i'm good thank you thank so much thank you so much please take care of yourself yeah thank you okay bye bye and lovely bye-bye. talking to you and so much to learn from you bye bye <laughs> okay bye 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 take care bye Bye. Bye.